let's talk about what crosshairs you should be using in CSGO. Before I even tell you exactly what you should be using, let me just mention that all of this is totally preference and you should be using what makes you the most comfortable inside of the game, right? There's not one crosshair that's gonna work for everybody. And something I may say today might actually be extremely wrong for you. I'm gonna share with you guys the knowledge I have for from playing at a high level and what I've seen other players using at my level. And I've, I've seen a pretty consistent theme of what works at the high level and what doesn't work, right? So before I show you guys really good crosshairs, let me mention the map. This map is Crosshair Generator V3. I will link it in the bio of this video, okay? And I'm gonna show you first crosshairs that you should avoid, crosshairs that you should not be using at all. And so don't even think about playing on these, right? So don't use something like this where it's like a lot going on, right? Where this outer is running around and one, you're gonna look like a noob because it's like the default crosshair uh, when you load the game for the first time. It's very similar to that. And two, there's just too much going on. It distracts you from what the crosshair's true purpose is, right? What is your crosshair? It's marking the center of your screen. Don't get too fancy with it because all it is doing is marking the center of your screen where bullets are going to go. The point of the crosshair isn't for your eyeballs to look at it necessarily. It's supposed to look past it, right? So stop worrying about these fancy little crosshairs that have so much going on and, and move when you're running around. It's No one uses it at a high level. No one really likes these kind of crosshairs. So uh, stay away from those ones. Also, stay away from like stupid stuff like this where it's like really hard to find the center of the screen, right? Like it defeats the whole purpose of a crosshair because you, you can't tell exactly where the center is. So, you know what I mean? It's like you're playing a guessing game instead of knowing and being able to just shoot. So I guess it's good. You can see what's in the center, but there's there's no reason for something like this. It's just stupid, guys. <laughs> it's just dumb. But also, if you ever have a crosshair you don't like and you want to go back to one that you already have saved, go to your settings, go to game, and then it's going to be at the very bottom, right? So you're going to load in here. Go all the way down. You can click crosshair, share or import, and paste your code into here, right? Import that code in, and bam, we have our nice good crosshair back. But yeah, so... Just stay away from stuff where it's like overly overly stupid or overly you know exaggerated like something like this i know it's a meme but like i've seen players try to use something like this and it's just so it's not good guys it's not good at all like it defeats the purpose of a crosshair and it's just not good i'd also stay away from these like boxes it's really bad it's so stupid to me like don't don't play on weird stuff just to be unique guys like you need to play on what's going to make you the best and most comfortable. Don't play on something just because you think it looks cool or, you know what I mean? It's it's not going to help you rank up. If you just want to have fun, then of course play on these, but it's not worth it to play on stuff like this. Like It, <laughs> it just looks so dumb, <laughs> right? So that's enough about talking about crosshairs that are bad. Now let's talk about crosshairs that are good. What should you be looking for, for in a crosshair? I'm going to show you again what mine looks like. We'll import it in here. Now, why do I like mine? Because it's simple, it's concise, it's a little smaller, but also thickness one, right? You need to understand what kind of thickness you like for your crosshairs. And I'm actually in the minority. I think a lot of players like uh, playing on thickness zero. And as you can see here, they all have pretty much thickness zero crosshairs outside a few of them. Now, the reason again for this is because they can look past their crosshair and see where they're aiming, right? For me, it's totally preference. This is a crosshair I've been using for a long time now. It's the one I always go back to. Um, but yeah, and I'll link it in the description for you guys as well, but I'll show you guys just a, a common example of what these players play on. This one might be a little, like something like this. It's a little similar to mine, but as you can see, they're all kind of similar. With Hampus here, it's great because it's such a simple, concise crosshair that you can see past and effectively understand if you're hitting their heads or not. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can look past and see, oh, I'm on his head, and it works great, so... A lot of players prefer to play on crosshairs like this, as you'll see. They like playing on these little, uh, small crosshairs. Which is very interesting that most players have this similar little style, you know what I mean? And these crosshairs are 100% outdated, so don't think that these are exactly what they're using right now. But it just shows you at a place in time they all played on something like this. Now what's another style of crosshair that I've, I've seen at a high level and I see a lot of players using? It's actually these dot crosshairs, right? And what's what's cool about these dot crosshairs is like it literally tells you the center of the screen. I personally do not like them, right? I personally don't like dot crosshairs, but I see a lot of players using them and using them successfully. So I can't hate on them because, you know, they're finding success with them and they're actually doing good with them. So I don't like it, but 
don't be afraid to try a dot crosshair because clearly it works and clearly I don't know what I'm talking about and these people you know have the new meta they they know what they're doing so don't use something like this I would say wait for most part guys for crosshairs that expand when you shoot and stuff because again I think it just takes away from your eyes and it might feel good for a few weeks or something but honestly I don't think it's good I don't think it's even it even with the spraying and when you're pulling down it's not worth it to me but yeah, guys, maybe you just come in here and choose one of these crosshairs. I'd recommend any of these guys. They're they're all good crosshairs over here. Don't use those. Those ones, they don't know what they're doing for the most part. But these these players, they know what they're doing. So you should definitely choose those. So yeah, check this map out. Have a good time. Just figure out what works best for you. And at the end of the day, just get comfortable, right? But I appreciate you guys so much. Make sure to check out my socials. Subscribe to this channel. We'll be up with daily videos every single day. So... Stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Take care.